Okay, now you're going to be finding a side measure given what the theta is. So let's go ahead and write down what we know. We know the theta. The theta equals 28 degrees. And opposite the theta, so the opposite side, is 11. And we're supposed to find the hypotenuse. Remember, the hypotenuse is directly across from the right angle. Oh, well, which trig function uses opposite and hypotenuse, that would be the sine trig function. So sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Now other trig functions, uh, cosecant does too, but sine is easier because it's a, there's a sine function uh, button right on your calculator. So let's go ahead and set up what we know. So we're going to be finding the sine of theta equals the opposite over hypotenuse. So the sine, the theta, is equal to 28 degrees. The opposite is 11 over x. We don't, so this is the opposite, this is the hypotenuse. All right, well, there's a couple ways we can do this. We could go ahead and remember to get rid of something that, that's being divided in the denominator. You can multiply, and then you'd multiply both sides. And then we want to get x by itself, so how do you get rid of something that's uh, attached by multiplication? Yep, you divide both sides. So we're going to divide both sides by sine of 28 degrees. Those cancel. x equals 11 over the sine of 28 degrees. That is the first way, and we're going to type this into a calculator. I think I can type that in, in the correct way. So let's see. Um, 11 divide, and now I have to hit, here I'm going to use parentheses, 28 sine, right parentheses, equals. Now I'm going to round to the nearest tenth and I believe that that says that x will equal 23.4. Let's go ahead and try it another way. I want to show you one more way. So if we have sine of 28 degrees is equal to 11 over x, remember sine of 28 degrees would be over that invisible one well, you could actually just flip both sides. If you flip one side, you can flip the other. So now we have 1 over sine of 28. Whoops, 28 degrees is equal to x over 11. And now you can just multiply both sides by 11. 11 times 1 is 11. So either way you'd prefer to do it, you can do it you can do it that way. The object is using algebra skills to get x by itself and that would be, I'm going to punch that into my, my t130 really quickly. I'm going to make sure that that's correct. So turn that to radians. Let's see. Okay, so 11 divide by sine 28, 23.4. That's it.